This would not have been possible in 1995. Uh, hi, Melissa. Hello. Um, Hello. After three years of waiting. Um, oh my God, more. More, maybe more. <laughs> more yeah. than three years, yeah. yes. Uh, how much? How many years? Uh, well, it's exactly, exactly five years since my first record came out. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I've read that uh, Out of Our Minds uh, was already uh, ready for three years. Or um, something like that. It, the I uh, not. It wasn't good enough yet, but it yes, I enough. could have maybe re released a record a couple of years ago, but record companies broke and morphed and became old beasts. And then I then decided to go a little bit further into some of the concepts I had for this record, which is uh, exploring a lot of my visual art roots, because before I played music, I was in fine art school my whole life, and when I joined Whole, I was in art school and I was going to be a visual conceptual artist but then music happened and I spent 10 years making music non-stop uh, and then once things became different with the music industry and and technology and all these things things changed and, and that has played a big part on what happened to this project and what happened to me as a woman trying to survive as a music maker but as a artist who wants to grow and as technology changed and industries changed I changed and my project is definitely a result of five years of a of one person starting with what I thought was a record and then coming out with a multimedia film album uh, comic but also it's informed the live possibilities it's online it's 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 a project that is determined to be heard no matter what venue I am given. So if it's a film festival or if it's an art gallery or if it's a conversation, it's a very full, it's more than just a record I guess is what I'm trying to say. And that's what happened in all those years is all these changes and the album became better because of it. Because I would put the album aside in a hard drive for a year. I'd make this film, learn about being like a producer and a witch and all these things and then go back to the record and improve it. Yeah. So is there much relief now? It's finally in the... So relieved, mm. yes. I'm ready to go to sleep for 10 years. I've never worked so hard in my life. Um, and I've also never felt as satisfied with having really worked every part of me. Here, here, here. I have drained every possible capability that I have um, in a good way. Uh, it was difficult because I was challenging myself in many ways that I haven't before, but um, the whole time I didn't know if I would ever be able to release it. I always knew that I could release it, release it online. So maybe about a year or two ago I thought, I'll just put it out for free on the internet, which is not a bad idea, but I do come from an old-fashioned place in music where I really do want to go to Holland and speak to people directly and I really do want to play a show in Holland and if possible if they ever play it on the radio then maybe someone will hear it so I didn't want I, I have a problem which is that I'm modern independent but I'm also old-fashioned and I really want to connect with as many people as possible so I spent an extra couple of years trying to figure out how I could do both <clears throat> and how I could have a really weird project that's experimental in many ways. It's experimental filmmaking. It's experimental concept, but it's still a 12-song rock album that if a straightforward music lover wants to just listen to a CD or download it for free, they can. And I guess they was trying to cover all of these things and try to reflect what I am, which is a lot of different things, and try to connect with a lot of different types of people. And one of the reasons <clears throat> I fell into music to begin with is so I can travel the world and speak to people. And so I thought, okay, if I do it in many different ways, I'll be guaranteed to connect with many different people. Yeah, this is maybe also a new way to market uh, <coughs> uh, music itself because you're <coughs> aiming at uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, an, an, a film audience, a music audience, yeah, and maybe definitely. also a reading audience. <coughs> I think that... Uh, Luckily for me, that my creative instincts ended up being good marketing in instincts. But all marketing is, because I'm not a marketing genius, 
and I'm not a business genius, marketing is usually figuring out what do the people want. What do I want? I want to connect with people and I love music and film and stories and visual arts and paintings and I'm inspired by all these things in one and um, so I wanted to you know without an idea of a marketing plan was just an idea of how do I please all of these things and with the 21st century and the way that people are consuming audio and visual all mixed in one cool new way I think it's just a wave of the time which is why I am the happiest I've ever been living in 2010 because now what I wanted which is exploring all the things I love in one project is possible. This would not have been possible in 1995.